All right, let's get started making this VI work. So first, look under peripherals, digital, pulse width. This is the, the main block that we use for the uh, ultrasonic sensor. It has a few inputs that are different from the analog. The main one is the channels. So there's, if we right click on the DO channel, and create a control, and then right click on the DI channel and create a control. The output is the trigger, so I'll rename that trigger. And the input is the echo. So those are the two pins that the um, Arduino needs to connect up with. Other than that, we have to have the normal open and close blocks. So I'll quickly put all of those up there too. So we just need something to display the timing from the, this pulse module. And there we go. So if everything is set up correctly, we should be able to pick the serial port. My echo pin is 12. Trigger is 11. Well, oh, one more thing. We have to tell it to send the pulse. By default, it doesn't send the pulse. So this is the one stimulus pulse. Create a constant there. So you want to leave that on the block diagram. We're not going to adjust it. And then you have to change this to active high. Now, if we set up our trigger pin echo pin as wired, go, we get a number. So I'm the last thing I'm going to do is put all of this in a while loop so that we take continuous measurements. I'll try running it again. So now if I put my hand in front, you can see the pulse is changing. So that's pretty successful there. You could add some math to the pulse width timing to display it in centimeters. That conversion is in all of the data sheets. Um, but we're going to use this pulse width in microseconds as our calibration input. So uh, we're going to measure pulse width for known distances and use that to calibrate this sensor. So if you got this working, good job, and we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so here you can see my circuit with the Arduino wired up. So I've got the digital pins here, the trigger and echo. I've got power and the sensor itself. I'm going to slide this back, get a little more range. And then if you watch the pulse width there, if I start very close, we're down in the 300s. And it should get bigger as I pull the book away. And now I'm going closer. Well, it's basically working. So this is the kind of thing you want to double check before you declare success.